So, Mr. Almazri, great pleasure to have you with us. Thank you, sir. Uh, you are our host here uh, in UAE, so Thank it's you. a great pleasure to be with you. Um, and uh, you are heading here the Federal Chamber of Commerce, besides of running a very successful private business. And I wanted to see and hear your perspective on this world as we have just seen it now. Please. Over Thank you, me. and uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I will try to uh, uh, summarize uh, my remarks in six points, and uh, I would like to focus more in our region, because I think uh, my colleagues before me and after me will talk more about the global uh, issues. Uh, the world of money and business cannot be separated from the geopolitical changes since the, these changes will be definitely cast its shadow in the economic and social reality in general, especially with the increase of challenges and considering the fact that the world is heading towards a wide-scale crisis such as the war in Ukraine and not to mention the impact of COVID-19 uh, in the world. The impact was great. Number one, the food supply chain around the world were impacted. The pandemic left a huge mark on the economies of many countries around the globe. Second, the huge increase in oil and gas prices and the rates of inflation as well as economic recession. No doubt that the geopolitical changes are among us the most significant factors to affect the world economic eco ecosystem, which makes us think of how to prepare and how to imply strategic investment in the business in a way that minimizes geopolitical tensions, which can be done through, one, increasing business flexibility and resilience, adapting, developing practical methodologies for risk management and geopolitical uh, crisis. Economy ab adaptation with the reality and turning challenges into opportunities and tools that can use to minimize economic shocks and sudden crisis. Three, the strategy. Geopolitical flexibility is the one key features of UAE. Our government has adopted forward-thinking uh, ideas and visions for the management and emergencies. The UAE showed a great flexibility in containing the impacts of COVID-19 pandemic. For example, the advanced infrastructure, logistics, innovations helped greatly in limiting the implications of pandemic <coughs> and helped returning back to normal as soon as possible and moving towards a more prosperous lifestyle and a stronger economy. It created a model that can coexist with the current situation while minimizing their impact as much as possible. The government has placed an agenda with a clear vision and a new system to measure production. It also amended the rules and regulation to align the new update objective and priorities. It abandoned the old and traditional ways of work and adopted digital transformation, such as having some categories to work remotely from home. It, it, it utilizes new and smart solutions and technologies in providing 95% of services, including but not limited to digitalization of UAE chambers its services, membership, certificate of origin, attestation, and, doc and documentation. By looking into the economy of UAE, we see that it possesses excellent economic features, investment environment, and a stable political landscape that can keep and growing despite the economic recessions around the world from time to time among us, these features Strategic location, promise, 
economic environment, solvency and sovereignty funds, fl flexible economic laws and ease of doing business, stable currency, lack of restriction, tax legislation, free zone and specialized economic zones, and foreign ownership up to 100% of companies to do business in the country. Competitive labor cost. In addition, UAE economy is one of the biggest economies in the MENA region and business hub for Asia, Europe, and Africa. These competitive features are witnessing constant enhancement to serve private sector investors, entrepreneurs, to enable them to grow and expand regionally and internationally. Thus, transforming UAE into a destination for world investment. Developing government work system. Federal and local government sectors demonstrated high level of readiness, efficiency in developing work system in line with the UAE post-COVID-19 strategy. They maintained their memorandum, momentum and proved the country ability to crisis management. It topped the world countries in limiting the impact of the pandemic and returning back to, <clears throat> gradually to normal life, utilizing sound plan and detailed roadmap to future foresight. The role of business and future foresight. The UAE has deployed strategies with future foresight and intensified programs and plans while being more diversified, flexible, and comprehensive. Many years ago, the government in UAE has implemented the fourth industrial revolution strategy, which aimed to transform the UAE industrial base into a globally competitive, productive, sustainable sector at the cutting edge of the fourth industrial revolution. The strategy also aimed to achieve future security of water, food supply using bioengineering science and advanced renewable energy technologies. Enhance, enhance economic security by adopting digital economy and blockchain technologies in the financial transaction and services. Optimize the utilization of satellite data in planning future cities and develop, develop advanced defense industry by developing national industry in the field of robotics and autonomous vehicle technology. The UAE also enjoy an economy that is open to the world with multinational companies. Many international companies have relocated their headquarters to UAE, which positively impacted the development of economic aspects and sector, including tourism, industry, agriculture, food, and space industry. The government in UAE has also launched a national strategies and the new legislation to initiate and encourage manufacturing. Among these strategies, the new UAE industrial strategy, what they call Operation 3 uh, Billion, which aims to develop a UAE industrial sector and enhance its role in simulating the re national economy and raise industrial sector contribution to the GDP from UAE dirham 133 billion to uh, 300 billion dirham by 2030. The launch of Abu Dhabi new industrial strategy with the 10 billion funding scheme across six transformation, transformational programs, inaugurating international forums and events to develop the local industry, such as Make It in the Emirates Forum, providing diverse facility to, for investors such as Basher Service, which offers investors and entrepreneurs in the UAE and all over the world an innovative digital solution to start their business anywhere, anytime. 
The government also launched the Instant License Initiative in Dubai, which aims to speed up the setting of the business in addition to allowing foreign investors to full ownership of the business. The Federation of UAE Chambers encourage Emirati business owners to explore the investments climate of their countries and to cooperate with their counterpart in these countries to set up companies. The UAE Chambers offers all the support companies needed for business, matchmaking and cooperation regionally and internationally. Thank you. Thank you very much. I think uh, very uh, interesting perspective to see how in this changing world, I think UAE is a, is a hub of economic political resilience and in a multipolar world, I think uh, you are of course also optimally positioned to play that role. Thank you very much for this uh, introductory statement. We come back to a few questions later on.